at the moment there are about 20 million active users um, up from about 13 million in 2013. So this brings us to the question what exactly is meetup.com? Meetup is nothing but an online social networking platform which allows and helps um, individuals with you know similar ideas and um, thoughts like-minded individuals basically to meet online and then organize offline meetups between the group members at the local level. So that in a nutshell, nutshell is meetup and what meetup is all about. So this is how the home page looks like. Let me take you to uh, Right, so this is how the Meetup homepage looks like. You see there are a lot of, there is a lot of information about uh, the Meetups happening in uh, your groups and other Meetups that are happening, happening in your nearby location, right? So you have various options. Here you say you find a, a find a Meetup group or start a Meetup group option. Uh, if you look at, when you click on find find a meetup group you are landed on this page basically um, there is a search feature here um, and also a location feature you can basically play around with this make it say 50 miles of Pune and for example if you look for photography let's see groups for photography in and around Pune so you see there are multiple groups uh, some of them have 300 400 members some fewer so, you know, you do find groups related to things that are people people are interested in. Uh, let's do a couple of examples here. Um, let's change this to 50 miles of Bangalore. And we're, say, looking for folks who have anything to do with Hadoop. Right? So you see there are several groups within the Hadoop space operating uh, around the Bangalore area. Bangalore Baby Hadoop group which has about 1600 members. Then you have a Bangalore Hadoop Meetups group which is about 2400 members. Big Data User group 1400 members. So you see there are quite a few users in um, these locations. Let's run another example for say Hyderabad. Okay, and then let's look for Android. So you see there are several groups listed in the Hyderabad area for folks who have anything to do with Android. Uh, let's see this one, which is Hyderabad Android App Developers Entrepreneurs Meetup Group, which has about 730 members. So when you click on the group, it lands you on the group homepage. Now there is a lot of information provided on this homepage as well. For example, the location of the group, when it was founded, there are 730 odd members. The group has had 20 odd meetups in the past. You also have information about the organizers. And you, in this portion, you also have a little brief about why the group has come into being, right? Now, when you look at this part, we are about, now, any of these terms, all you have to do is click on these terms. It will land you on a page with the result, search results for uh, these particular terms. So that is another way of discovering other groups, um, similar um, groups. Now, you notice here, there is a, a members tab here. When you click on members, it takes you to a list of the group members, right? So this is one of the group members and it tells you how you know or you you know are connected to that person generally it's either through a person or through common groups uh, that you both are members of right so let's click on one of these profiles and see the kind of information that leads it now you will see first thing there is an option to directly message uh, members of meetup groups. So once you become a member, you can potentially reach out to anyone within 
um, the Meetup platform. So it gives you information about the location and uh, you know when the member, when when the person became a member of Meetups. So are you? So there are some interests listed apart from also his networks. You find his Twitter ID here, handle here. You get your his phone number, and uh, in some cases, you know, there's additional information listed like there's a LinkedIn link, there's a personal email ID, and there's an official email ID as well. In other examples on the same search, so there is a lot of information that you can glean from the member page on Meetup and you can use this information, you can put together a target list, use other sources um, that you have on the internet to build a, a better profile of this person, of your target person. So all you need is basically a name to go ahead with and you know the platform provides you with certain additional information as well. Okay. So we looked at the search option the search option only gives you on uh, Meetup is only to search for groups. Doesn't have an option to search for people directly. So when you look at groups here, you can search for groups. It also gives you uh, five options to sort the results with, right? But leaves you with the question: How do you actually look for candidates or you know members directly? that can only be accomplished by googling for your candidates by looking from outside looking within meetup right so let's pick up on a couple of examples about how you could potentially do that right before uh, we go ahead uh, into how to create a search string around finding candidates here uh, let's do a quick recap on what meetup.com is all about uh, when you become a member, you can join any group that doesn't need membership approval. Uh, there are certain groups that need approval from the admin for you to be included or accepted into the group. Membership is typically free, but group individual groups within Meetup can potentially have membership fees and or Meetup costs associated. Right. Um, you can also contact members directly and in most cases or many cases members also have email IDs listed and meetup.com can be used as a tool to mine candidates and build a target list right so now we move on to um, how we google for candidates from meetups there are many different ways of uh, doing this but I've just used a couple of examples one each on how to find target groups and one for how to find target candidate profiles. So when I'm looking for candidate groups here, you will notice that I've, I'm looking for Hadoop users within Pune or in and around Pune. But I've also used the term meetups are scheduled. Now why have we used this term here? This term is, this phrase is specific to the group pages on meetup. Right, so when I use the term meetups are scheduled, it will only give me results for groups. Now, if you look at this next slide, I am looking for candidates here with the same skills, but then I've used the phrase member since. What this does is, since this is a unique phrase that is appearing only on the member page of uh, the profile page of the member on meetup, it will only give you people profiles. It will not come up with group uh, results for you right so these are uh, you know ways that you could look at uh, ta you know target uh, profiles obviously there are a uh, million different ways of doing this uh, there are different searches that you can run to provide you results in different ways but this is just an example right so now we move on to something that I consider uh, is a very important aspect of uh, meetup.com and how it can be leveraged at uh, a broader level to create a, a, tan, you know, a talent pipeline basically. I'm very keen and excited about you know, this particular aspect of it. What we have previously discussed on this webinar is more of a passive approach where you go looking for candidates. Uh, the active or the proactive approach that I'm all sold out on is 
the prospect of implementing a proactive process uh, that includes or incorporates gamification onto the meter platform. Now, this combination I feel could be a very potent recruiting weapon in the hands of people who can figure out the sweet spot. Now, when you do this, when you bring gamification onto the, the meter platform, um, you essentially are creating a competitive, challenging and interactive ecosystem that, you know, if backed by effective relationship and data management, can help transform this into a pipeline of the best available candidates or talent. Um, all you need is a very small budget. If you have, uh, you know, a decent enough marketing branding budget, you could probably put together a meetup group for as little as five dollars a month or three hundred rupees a month. You could also sponsor and organize um, offline meetups for group members. Um, Again, this brings into effect uh, into the picture effective relationship management, which will help you attract the best candidate into your recruiting sphere, right? So this is a concept that I'm very excited about. I am actually going to be looking forward to how this pans out, and we'll be focusing on, you know, uh, making things work with Meetup.com. Overall, these are my two cents about how to leverage uh, Meetup.com for sourcing. So, Chinmay, do you do we have any questions for me? Okay, thank you, Sharad, for your time. Uh, it's a great uh, tool, and uh, we'll just pick up some examples from the audience. So, if any uh, any one of you wants to ask Sharad a question, or if you want to run an example, uh, we can do it here. So especially if uh, if we look at it, Sharad, uh, it seems that a, a very a promising portal, say maybe a couple of IT skill sets as well. Yeah. So mean, uh, meanwhile, uh, till we have an example from the audience, can you just show us uh, uh, one more example? Something in mind that we could do a run, run a search for? Okay, so let's do this since we don't have any questions coming through from the audience. Uh, we will look for... Okay, Sharad, sorry to interrupt. Uh, we have a, a question coming up for iOS okay. developers. So, iOS developers. In what location? Do you know? Uh, it's Munich, Germany. Munich. Germany can be a tricky thing. Am I spelling it right? Munich. Right? Yeah, the first one. Okay, and we're looking for iOS developers. Okay, there. Uh, if you look at this, there are quite a few groups around this. There's only one that is particularly around the iOS developers community. Let's click on that and see what that brings up for us. Right, so the Munich iOS developers meetup, it has 188 members. They've had eight meetups in the past. Let's click on members and see what that brings up. Jose. Right, right. so he's one of the organizers, full stack Java web developer, passionate about looking into iOS development. Let's look up another example on this list. Okay, Wolfgang Rist. Well, there's not really much information on some of these profiles, so you have to dig deeper as you go. Uh, use other resources at your disposal so that you can come up with uh, a better profile. You could put together a better profile of your target person. Says I'm working on smaller iOS projects from time to time. Recently released an app for risk methods. Would like to get more involved in development trends on the iOS platform. Right? Do we have uh, any other? Sir, can we try the same example putting a Indian location? Sure. Okay, let's try Bangalore. Uh, 
Right. So you see, Bangalore has um, quite a bit more iOS related groups here. Let's go for the first one. It's, it has about 750 iOS geeks, as they call themselves. Right, 742 odd members, 14 past meetups, one upcoming meetup. They've been active since 2012, right? Let's go click on the members. Vijay Tolapadi. Okay, there's no contact information listed here. Let's see if we can find someone with the contact info so that. Okay, so basically it's it's uh, like a meetup profile, so it is not a, a detailed CV. So we'll have to uh, put this for further engagement and also get to know the profile much better. That's correct. You okay. basically have to use this to build a list, and you use your um, you know other sources resources at your disposal to put together uh, a list or a better profile of your target candidate. So that's how you go about it. So basically, uh, again, you will be using your Google skills. Uh, we already have covered a lot of it in our previous webinars. So if you have attended those, you can also find those on YouTube. So you can go through it. Again, a Google skills come into picture again to find more detailed information about these candidates. Okay. Uh, right. So that's all for now. If you have any more questions coming up from the audience, we will uh, reply on Twitter later on. Sharad, you want to finish? Yeah. Well, uh, thanks for this opportunity uh, to you know come and uh, you know speak on the sourcing of the platform. That is it from my end for uh, the Meetup.com portion of it. Uh, I will look forward to bringing another interesting topic uh, to the sourcing of the platform in the near future. I would like to go about one moment, please. Yeah. I would like to go uh, a couple of minutes into uh, an event, an upcoming event in Pune in April 2015. It is called TaskCon 2015, that is Talent Acquisition and Sourcing Conclave 2015. We are using the hashtag TaskCon15 for broadcasting uh, information related to that. The event will be held in the Hyatt Hotel in Pune on uh, the 15th of April 2015. Now what this event is all about is it's basically the first of its kind uh, talent acquisition and recruiting conference to be held in Pune. And uh, there are two aspects to it. One is what we're calling a strategy hub and the second aspect, a uh, sourcing lab. Now these two events, uh, smaller events are part of the larger TaskCon event but will be held simultaneously and separately at the same venue. So under the strategic hub, uh, we are going to focus on the latest trends, uh, best practices and strategies in talent acquisition and recruiting. And this will be the perfect platform to listen to and interact with industry thought leaders and also a wonderful opportunity to network with uh, senior members in the industry. Right. So some of the things that we would also cover here uh, as part of the topics will be how to build a strong sourcing team and uh, the other topic is uh, how sourcing is transforming the talent acquisition industry, how it is transforming or changing the talent acquisition industry. There will also be panel discussions. There are two panel discussions, one of them uh, dealing with uh, employer branding and the second panel discussion will be how technology is changing the sourcing landscape. Right? These are the two topics that will be covered under panel discussions in the strategic hub. The second part of it is the sourcing lab, which will basically deal with the latest techniques and techniques, tools, and methodologies within the recruiting and sourcing space. There will be a lot of secrets that will be shared by the industry experts with participants in the sourcing lab. Um, you know, they are some of the best talent acquisition and sourcing professionals in India, and they're looking forward to being uh, at the event and being able to present their material to a bunch of knowledgeable folks there right so that is what is covered as part of the sourcing lab we have topics like mobile recruiting 
social media outreach, headhunting, um, sourcing tools, as well as LinkedIn hacks that will be covered as part of the Sourcing Lab initiative. Now, uh, these are the two main events at TaskCon 15, but there is also uh, uh, another uh, part of it that you know people who have been on Sourcing Adda over the last year or so know that Sourcing Adda has been conducting uh, a sourcing contest every month to you know encourage and uh, bring about a competitive atmosphere within the sourcing or the recruiting uh, space. Now over the past 10-11 uh, months we've already had 10 winners. There is already one contest going on now so there will be a 11th winner and one next month as well. So as part of TaskCon, we have a, you know, a mega contest there uh, which will have these 12 sourcing champs competing with each other in a mega contest to be named champion, right? So that one person will be uh, reigning champion for the next one year. Um, I know as, as you, uh, you might be aware, sourcing are done now is over 1100 members strong and this is uh, from the core recruiting and sourcing space within India primarily. So there is a lot of activity happening and we will look forward to you know having you be a part of the mega event in April 2015. Uh, all members of Sourcing Adda will receive um, email updates from us regarding the event so please feel free to reach out to us in case uh, you are interested and keen on joining us on the 15th of April 2015 at the Hyatt Hotel. All right, guys, thanks so much. And, you know, thanks for your patience. Okay, thank Have you. Have a great day. Cheers. Thank you, Sharath. So, um, just wanted to let you know that this contest is live now for the month of February. So, please visit the below link and uh, try to attempt the questions. And we'll be replying you with feedback. So that's all for this evening. We'll be back again next month with another topic on sourcing and recruitment. Thank you for joining today. Have a good evening.